Hi, this is Jacob with MissingDrivers.com and today we're going to show you how to use a driver cure and this is the software product that we do highly recommend on our site and it does a fantastic job of finding any software driver out there that you may be needing so whether it's a Dell, Toshiba, HP, whether it's a Prino, an audio driver, display driver, some sort of driver that you're looking for this is the software to do it. One of the first things you'll do is after you install the free trial here uh, go ahead and go under settings and this is important. I always recommend you change the browsing, uh, the actual download co download location. So go ahead and hit the browse button right up there. And we'll go ahead and usually I do recommend you go ahead and uh, just make a new folder on the desktop. So select your desktop and this works with Windows uh, Vista, 32-bit, 64-bit, uh, Windows XP. If you got it, this will work for it. And it's going to work with Windows 7 here too very shortly here in the next two weeks I believe it is. So let's go ahead and we'll just call this missing drivers. You can name the folder anything you want. And basically is what we're doing is we're just selecting the folder that we want to use it in. And then we'll see automatically download detective items. No, I want it and I'd also would uncheck the st start uh, the scan at startup and uh, set system restore before installing items. Yes, you do want to make sure and keep that checked. And this is a great feature, one of the only programs that do offer this. You can hit that email set settings button there. You can fill out the information here and is what this is going to do is anytime there's a new update for that driver, it's going to say, hey, we got an update for the drivers. Uh, for, so you don't even ever have to worry about it and drivers can cause all kinds of issues uh, whenever you're having a really funky issue going on one of the first places to check is your driver especially if you're having networking issues and the like so all we have to do now is you go ahead and hit the start scan button and this will take usually about a minute here so I'll go ahead and pause this real quick alright and the scan here actually only took about 20 seconds to do which is nice and uh, so we'll look here. Here's my display drivers, and it says I have uh, 13 outdated drivers. Now, if you're not having any issues at all, I don't even recommend going and necessarily updating the driver. Now, if you are having issues, even little quirky ones, is one of the first things you should always do is update your driver if you're having issues. You'll notice, hey, you found my printer automatically, uh, my audio driver, my display driver, my wireless driver, my NIC driver, and, and this guy does it all. And something really, really nice too that I like about this is if you actually click on it, you can actually see the version ID number and the vendor too as well uh, which can be helpful information especially if you needed to ever replace a part um, this is very good for finding out hey what did I have before anyways all you'd have to do is select the driver you wanted let's say I wanted the let's go ahead and pick uh, uh, my office jet we'll go ahead and hit next this is going to be for a printer obviously and boom it's going to automatically go out and it's going to automatically download this driver for me uh, so I don't even have to worry about it. It's going to download it to the location that I preset, which is on my desktop here. I'll pause it while this is downloading. And once the product's been downloading, this is one thing I do like too as well. It prompts you saying, hey, do you want to go ahead and install this now? Now, if there's multiple drivers you want, I just hit no. Um, otherwise, you can head, hit yes and have it install it for you automatically. In this case, I'm just going to say no. And well, if we actually open up that folder, it took a quick second for it to load up, but there it is. The Office Jet 6400 series, so all you'd have to do from there is go ahead and install it. Now notice that on some of these they will be zip files uh, because there's multiple files that you downloaded um, all at once. If that is the case, you simply right click on it, hit unzip, or if you have a an unzipper like WinRAR, you can go that way out too. Otherwise, you can just unzip it and extract it to whatever location you want and go ahead and run the driver from there. And that is it. And, and like I said, that's one reason why we we just really like to use the software is just because it's so easy to use. We use it on plenty of client systems whenever we go out and they have or are having driver issues. Um, so hope you enjoyed it. Hope you know how to use it now. Like I said, it cannot get any easier than this program right here. So enjoy.